This video will show you how to find components of vectors, specifically velocity vectors for projectiles, but this will apply also with forces or displacement vectors or any sort of vector that you're uh, combining or if you're trying to split it up into components. So for a projectile, if it's launched at an angle, a lot of times we will be given the initial launch speed, shown here as 10 meters per second, and the angle that it's launched from, usually from the horizontal. We need to calculate the velocity in the x direction and the velocity in the y direction because for all our equations, we can only look at loss, motion in the x direction or motion in the y direction. We don't have an equation that incorporates both of them. Notice here I said the vx instead of the initial velocity, velocity in the x direction because remember in the x direction, the acceleration is zero, the velocity is constant for a projectile. So initial velocity in the x direction, final velocity in the x direction, they're the exact same thing. However, initial velocity in the y direction is going to be different than the velocity in the y direction at some other point. So what I'd like you to do now is, knowing that uh, we can split this up into a triangle, so we have this is our velocity, this is the uh, 10 meters per second is the speed of the projectile, and the angle is 30 degrees. We can break that up into an x component and a y component. This is like when we did the Save by the Bell activity, splitting up the legs of our trip. So what I want you to do is I want you to calculate the x velocity and the y velocity. So get your calculator, remember your SOCA tool if you need to do it, pause the video, calculate the x velocity here and the y velocity. Do that now. Go. All right, so hopefully you did that and you got five meters per second for the Y and 8.66 meters per second for the X. Regardless of how you did it, we're gonna do this a ton in this course. So I wanna show you a shortcut. You'll notice here that this angle, relative to this angle here, we're looking for the opposite side and we're looking for the adjacent side. Over and over and over and over in this class, we're gonna be given the hypotenuse and we want the opposite side and we want the adjacent side. So we're gonna come up with a shortcut. So this you want to write in your notes, the trig shortcut. So what we do is we say, well, the sine of an angle, we know what that is. That's opposite over hypotenuse. However, I want the opposite side. That's what I'm going to be solving for over and over and over again. So we're just going to solve this right now for opposite. So multiply both sides by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is over here, cancel out, and we get opposite, opposite equals hypotenuse times sine of theta. This is something you need to memorize. Just memorize it. Note, this does not say x is equal to hypotenuse times sine of theta or y is equal. It's just the opposite side of the triangle. Sometimes that'll be the x, sometimes that'll be a y. We can get the trig shortcut for the adjacent side as well. Adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. Multiply both sides by hypotenuse. And we get adjacent equals hypotenuse times cosine of the angle. Memorize this one as well. So whenever you want the adjacent side, all you do is you take the hypotenuse times cosine of the angle. So how does our shortcut apply? These you don't need to write down. This is just some practice. So if this is the angle and this is the initial speed, um, some v naught, I put the absolute value signs on either side of it because we're just looking at the speed, the magnitude. The angle tells us the direction. The x component here, and the y component there, well the x component is going to be the initial velocity in the x direction, or we can just call it uh, velocity in the x direction, is the speed times cosine of the angle. Initial velocity in the y direction is the speed times sine of the angle. And that's because y is the opposite side here. x, in this case, happens to be the adjacent side. So here's another one. How does our shortcut apply? So in your mind, or you can do this on your paper, where would you write the x and y components? Well, our angle is here, and we want our angle to be in our triangle, so we're going to have the y component there and the x component there. And you have to ask, ask yourself, this side here, is this the opposite side or the adjacent side? This y component here, is this the opposite side or the adjacent side from this angle? And v naught y is negative magnitude of the speed, or magnitude of the velocity, uh, negative times the speed, the launch speed, times cosine of the angle. It's negative because it's going down, and it's cosine because the y uh, side happens to be the adjacent side to this angle, and the x. 
It's the speed times the sine of the angle. The x is positive because it's pointing to the right. It doesn't matter that it's down here, it's pointing to the right, and for x, or the convention is to the right is positive. All right, let's try a few more. So go ahead and uh, do this one on your own. Pause the video and then hit play again once you've done it. And here we go. Here's the x, here's the y. We want to draw our side so that the angle is in the triangle. And we use cosine for the x and sine for the y. Sine, the y is negative, though, because it's going down. Here's another one. Try it. Pause it. Come back. See if you got it right. And here's the x. Here's the y. x is negative. y is negative. x is negative and the sine because it's the opposite side and it's going to the left. y is negative and it's the cosine because it's the adjacent side and it's going down. Just a note here, if you wanted to find this angle here, you could put x over here and y over here, and everything would be in terms of this angle. you get the exact same answer, um, except you, your angle would change and your sines and cosines would flip. But nothing's wrong about do, choosing the other, the other angle. And I'll talk about that again in a second. So what if we want to add vectors together? A situation where you'd want to do this is if you were given the... Uh, initial velocity in the x direction, the initial velocity in the y direction, or maybe you had the final velocity in the x direction, the final velocity in the y direction, and you want to find the overall initial or final velocity. So if you're given the components, how do you go backwards? Well, this is what you need to do. Um, well, here's an example. Initial velocity in the x direction, negative 5 meters per second. Initial velocity in the y direction, negative 4 meters per second. What is the initial speed and what is the launch direction? What you're going to do is you're going to use Pythagorean theorem and inverse trig functions. So when we draw out our vectors, what we have here, we'll ignore the theta 1, theta 2 for now. Here's our y component. It's a negative initial y velocity. Here's our x. It's a negative, so it's going left. The y is going down because that's negative. Left is negative for the x. And we label them. And so we go 4 down, 5 over. And then we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the hypotenuse, which is right here. Notice the hypotenuse is always going to come from where we started to where we ended up. That's the shortcut. And use Pythagorean theorem, we got 6.4 meters per second. And then we want to find the angle. Since this is our triangle, let's find this angle here. You use inverse trig. You could do inverse tangent and use opposite over adjacent. You could use inverse sine and use opposite over hypotenuse. Or you could use inverse cosine and use adjacent over hypotenuse. Doesn't matter which one you do. But then you may say, I didn't draw it like this. I drew my x velocity first and then my y velocity. And you'll notice you get the exact same hypotenuse. This hypotenuse connects both sides um, of these triangles. So it doesn't matter the order that you write the components in. So negative 5 meters per, per second for the x, negative 4 meters per second for the y. You can still do your inverse trig. It'll be slightly different because the opposite and the adjacent sides have switched and you'll get the complementary angle. So you can find theta 1, you can find th theta 2, just draw a picture and label the angle so we know what it is. One thing to note, this is not a, the final answer is not negative 6.4 meters per second. Negative, if you're at an angle with your velocity, negative does not sufficiently describe the direction because Negative is only going to work if you're in one dimension. So if you're only in the x-axis or you're only in the y-axis. But when you're in both, you have to use an angle and use a picture or a, uh, a diagram, a vector diagram here, to show where that angle is. All right, so that's how you split up vectors into their components, and that's how you combine vectors into the components.